Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, April 5, 2013. This week, Around the World Photo Circle Technique. Here's a really fun technique for taking your skyline photos full circle. With this technique, the center of the photo will be filled with sky and buildings will circle the edge. You can even use the technique with landscape photos or get really creative with photos of light reflections like this one. Here are the steps for creating the look in Photoshop and Elements. Begin by selecting a skyline photo to work with. Here are a few tips for choosing a photo that I've learned along the way. Choose a photo with a strong horizon line. The right and the left edges of the photo should be reasonably similar. A photo with a lot of clear sky is a whole lot easier to work with than a sky that has a lot of clouds or variation. You can choose either a daytime photo or a nighttime photo. And don't be afraid to crop a photo to make it work. In this photo, I would probably crop just beyond this large tree on the left side, I'd crop out the water in the front, and I'd come over to the right side and probably crop out that little half tree there to make things easier to work with later on. When you have your photo open in Photoshop or Elements, the first thing you'll need to look at is the horizon. If the horizon line is not straight, go ahead and crop your photo and straighten it. Next, select Filter, Distort, Polar Coordinates. Tick the button next to Rectangular to Polar, and then click OK. Press Ctrl J on a Mac System, Command J on your keyboard to duplicate the photo. So over in the Layers panel, you'll see that you've got one photo on top of the other. Drag the bottom layer to the trash can in the Layers panel to delete it. In some versions of Photoshop, this will be at the top, and in other versions, it'll be at the bottom. Press Control T or on a Mac System Command T to get the transform controls and then drag the side of the photo in to make the image into a circle. When you're finished, tick the little check mark. Now get the ellipse tool that shares a space with the rectangle tool and the custom shape tool and hold down the shift key while you drag out a circle that covers the portion of the photo that you want to keep. You can get the Move tool and drag the circle into place. And then drag the circle layer in the Layers panel below the Photo layer. Select the Photo layer and create a clipping mask by choosing Layer, Create Clipping Mask, or use your favorite method for creating a clipping mask. Now your photo is in a circle and you can go ahead and tweak it to get it just where you want it inside your circle. If there's a noticeable seam where the edges are joined, like in this photo, you can use the Clone Stamp tool or the Spot Healing Brush to clean up that seam. If the sky is clean, the Healing Brush will work just fine, but for more complicated skies, you're going to need to use the Clone Stamp instead. Finally, you can finish by selecting both the Photo layer and the Mask layer and pressing Control e or on a Mac System Command-E on your keyboard to merge the two layers together. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for another Photoshop or Elements tip.